I started covering technology about 10 years ago. And 10 years ago, things looked very different. It was literally interviewing people when their companies were just startups and a handful of people and an idea. And then everything changed. And I saw as these small companies turned into these massive industries that completely shaped society and changed all of us. Now there's absolutely no question that technology is humanity. I've also been a part of these major moments in technology and its clash with society. The day that I sat across from Mark Zuckerberg during one of the biggest data scandals in history, I asked him what this meant for us. It almost gave us a foggy outlook on the future of like, well, where do we even really go from here? And that's the day for me that everything became incredibly complicated. And I think the narrative around technology right now is very much about power. But what gets lost is people and how it really deeply impacts us. And I wanted to help people navigate it in a different way. Dot 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 is on a mission to tell stories that help us feel human again, to find authenticity in what's become a filtered world, and to look at technology through what I think is the most important lens, which is the human one. We're covering issues like mental health and loneliness and depression, and we look at relationships and love and sex and the unintended consequences of much of the technology that I helped bolster early in my career. The name Dot 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 came from someone who said to me, Laura, you're the human equivalent of Dot Dot Dot. I was like, what? It's like, you're always thinking and analyzing. And I'm like, I guess that's true. And I actually think that's very true about this moment in tech. We are thinking, analyzing, and playing out what's coming next. We don't know where we're gonna land. I wanted to build a whole company around that, and I wanted to build a whole ethos around making people feel a little bit less alone. I don't believe in this salvation or damnation, black or white mentality around technology. When you watch or when you listen, when you read our content, I want you to be like, I don't know how I feel, because I think that's this moment in tech. It's very dot, dot, dot.